Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. I just did the video, made the card, and my camera cut out. So I'm gonna try something new here with Facebook Live. I wanna see if I could get through the whole presentation, and then I will hopefully save it to YouTube so that I can put it into a website post. So last night in my class, we did this beautiful card featuring the watercolor wing stamp set that is about to retire in, um, May 31st, on May 31st. So I wanted to quickly show you how I created this pretty card and I've already posted it on Facebook and I'm getting a lot of feedback that people enjoy this pretty color combination. And um, I will say I happen to like it too. So what's great about this stamp set, even though it's retiring, is that many colors work. And about a year ago in another class, I created this color combination. Now this is the smaller of the butterflies and I did it in Flirty Flamingo which is technically retiring but coming back with Melon Mambo and Soft Suede. This ribbon obviously is retired and so is this stamp set but I just wanted to show you how pretty the stamp can look in different color combinations. Now the color combination here is Peekaboo Peach which is going to be leaving us and Calypso Coral. So Let's see, it looks a little dark, but hopefully it's not too dark. Maybe I'll just move my stuff up so that you guys can see. I see like a shadow at the bottom. Anyway, um, I do have a little list up here at the top. And again, my camera cut out at right when I finished. So I don't have a lot of memory on my phone, so I need to be quiet and just start stamping. So this is the watercolor wings, super cute set. It does have coordinating framelits that are retiring as well. But I am gonna show you how to make this, again, cute little card, um, and then we'll go from there. So let's hope that I don't cut out. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the card base, which is Peekaboo Peach, and it is at five and, a, oh, five and a half by eight and a half. My layering piece is chocolate chip, which is four inches by five and a quarter, that half inch rule. And then lastly is my Whisper White um, that we're gonna be stamping on, and it is at five inches, by three and three fourths. I already have my framelit, my layering ovals with the coordinating oval for the center for my sentiment. Again, this is my little list right here. So if you have any questions, you can see that right there. Okay, so here we go. All right, we are going to start out with Geekaboo Peach. And hopefully if this works, I can do this more often. So um, that's my game plan. That's a new goal of mine is to do more Facebook Lives and to show you guys some stamping techniques. So we're gonna use Peekaboo Peach. Now, when I did this card, okay, I had a hard time with the background because there's really no lighter color than the Peekaboo Peach. So I tried Sahara Sand, no good, and then I tried a pink color, no good. So I finally decided to take the solid image. You're gonna ink it up in the Peekaboo Peach, and this is what's called, you're gonna stamp off. And then you're gonna bring your image to the paper, okay, just like that. Then we're gonna go back into the ink. We're gonna go over here and we are gonna do another butterfly. Now we're gonna come over here and each time I do it, I'm stamping off first so that it creates like a lighter image. Now I am okay that it's blotchy because that's pretty much the watercolorness of the stamp. So the next layering piece is this one. Now, someone suggested perfect stamp set for Stamparatus. I agree, um, but I've got to pull out mine, so I'm just gonna show you the old way. Um, we're gonna use Peekaboo Peach right on top of that again. So I already have it on my block. I'm gonna go into the Peekaboo Peach, and we are going to go just like this. I'm hoping you can see the video, so if anybody is on, please tell me that you can see it, that I'm not wasting my time or your time. Okay, we're gonna Put it right on top and then we're going to do one more time up here like i said i just did the video and it was honestly one of my best videos ever and it cut out right at the end okay the next color i closed up that peekaboo peach calypso coral we are going to take the inside detailed piece now i'm going to get my stamp now with the new ink pads, you don't have to smush so you guys can see that I am just tapping. I'm gonna just go right there. And then we're gonna go back into the ink. Let me just zoom in just, oh, I can't zoom on Facebook Live. Oh no, what happened? Hold on. 
Don't want that. Whew. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Stamp it again. I can't zoom in. See, on YouTube when I do it, I can zoom in. So we're going to go there. So let me just pause and bring it up to you so that you can see the butterfly. So you can see there's three layers on there. Okay. Closing up Calypso Coral. And now I'm going to take chocolate chip. And chocolate chip is retiring. Okay. This is a little body of my butterfly. Put that right there. Oh, I kind of moved. Put one right there. And let's put another one right there. Okay, so my three butterflies are almost coming to life. Now I have my little top part of him or her. I'm going to put them right on top. <gasps> Cute, right? I hope you guys like it. And then now, lots of white on this card, correct? So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take these little dots and we're just going to go like this and fill up that white space. Again, I'm using the chocolate chip and I'm using all the stamps that I can from the one stamp set. I find that makes it a lot easier, easier on me and you for your budget if I just use one stamp for one card. So, and this one has pretty good sentiments too. So look at that. You guys like? My card is pretty much done, right? Not too bad. We're gonna take our chocolate chip layer, take our fast fuse, okay. I get good at this maybe I'll put it on my public page too okay we're gonna put that there I'm gonna get oh almost forgot peekaboo peach ribbon the stripe ribbon is also retiring we're gonna um I'm gonna go like this I know I'm crazy like this but I want to show you too how I can do a bow live okay so I'm gonna take the ribbon and let me put this right here. I'm just gonna put it right there and right there. Let me get my scissors and just cut them off. Okay, so that's on, right? Keep that turned over. I'm gonna fold my cardstock in half. And then what we're gonna do is, with the bone folder, we're gonna crease that. And then I'm going to place my card front on right there. And I hate to say it, I see a smudge mark. So watch this. There's no wrong in art. Ta-da! Done. Right? Finished. Okay. So let's make a bow. You ready? Okay. I'm leaving it on the spool because I'm crazy like that. We're going to make a little loop. And I'm holding it with my pointer and my thumb. I'm gonna wrap it around my pointer, kind of loosely, and you're gonna see that there's like a hole right there. I'm gonna place that ribbon through there, and I'm gonna pull it out. Now, before I pull much more, I wanna make sure that the original loop I don't lose. And then I just pull it and tighten, and I'm pulling left and right, east or west, Okay, so that you guys can see the bow. I'm gonna grab my scissors. I'm gonna cut them off right there. Whoops, look. And look it, I even made a little product list so in case you can see that there. I'm gonna do everything on my website too, but I'm, I'm trying. This is something new. I was challenged to do Facebook Live, so you guys can all tell my person at home office that I did one. She'll be very happy since my phone cut out again. Okay, I'm just gonna put some glue dots, put my little bow right, oh, no, I'm not putting it right there. I forgot, I want it on this side. I'm gonna put my little bow right there, okay? Now, my sentiment, that's all that I have left. So, I'm gonna grab my oval, grab my chocolate chip, grab my sentiment. Now, the stamp set, just so you know, I used one, two, three, four, five, six. That's gonna be number seven, and that's number eight. Stamps from one stamp set to create the card. I didn't have to look in another stamp set, just this one. And then there are two other sentiments you could use that will fit into those ovals, but I really like this one, and I thought 
if my friends are ever sad, I could use this to them because little moments with you matter a lot to me. So that could cheer up somebody, especially these bright little colors too. So let's ink that up now again with these pads. You don't have to smush them, just tap. And then we are going to place it right there in the middle. I'm gonna lift up. I'm going to grab now, not the chocolate chip, the peekaboo peach. Here's the other last stamp. And this is where my video cut out. Yep, round two. So I said, let me try Facebook Live. Maybe it won't shut me off. And I just did that. It was too white, right? Too white. Turn it over. A little bit of Fast Fuse. Place it on my oval. And let's grab some dimensionals. Okay. So I found now, with Facebook Live though, you just can't zoom in. So I'm gonna rip those off. Grab my card front. And I'm just gonna tack it right underneath there. Yeah, I'm covering up that butterfly, but it's okay. So there's my card. And there's my other card. And then of course, when you wanna do things horizontally, you can show how the card can work both ways. Here's here's the here's from the first video. That was the card that I created with the first video that didn't go. And then again, like I said, it's so easy just to switch out the colors. Now this is the smaller of the butterflies that's in that stamp set. And again, it was Flirty Flamingo. Um, oh, and to be honest with you, down in here, I didn't even realize I probably used um, Pink Pirouette, which is retiring. Flirty Flamingo and Melon Mambo. And then um, this is Soft Suede and I must have used black there. I did this card like a year ago, but see, look at it. The style never changes. It stays in style. How trendy am I? I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully it'll save and hopefully I can put it into my Facebook, I mean into my website for future reference. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.